hope you're ready. Li Chao Lan. Así, y te acabarán matando. ¡Suscríbete
Good afternoon, everybody. We're live from the Bandai Namco um, uh, Entertainment America offices for the Tekken Talk, May 2017. I'm Dalton, the, uh, the community manager for Bandai Namco, and I'm here with some special guests. You guys know, obviously, Mark Mann, the one and only Mark Julio, Tekken extraordinaire. And uh, we have a special guest, uh, Maximilian Dude. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> you guys know him as a... Uh, you know, multi-game streamer, fighting game enthusiast, uh, uh, Tekken lover as well. Pretty crazy time for fighting games around this time of the year, man. It's Definitely. getting nuts. Yeah. So we're super excited to be here. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. We've got a lot of fun stuff that we're going to be going over. Uh, first off, we're going to be previewing some uh, Eliza DLC um, character content. So if you guys don't know, she's the uh, pre-order uh, bonus character. Uh, so if you pre-order before launch, you'll get her day one. Yeah, make uh, sure you guys do so. I mean. Why wouldn't you? Yes. Why wouldn't you? She's an awesome character, really interesting moveset, uh, really a huge value add to the game uh, to pre-order there. We're also going to be doing some awesome giveaways today. Uh, Mark was nice enough to bring us um, the... We only have one, too. Yeah. I saw so many people wearing these shirts, and I don't know where to get them. The Bullet Club. In Japan. Only in Japan. The Bullet Club. Um, Exclusive shirt. Can you like, tell us a little about that, Mark? Yeah, it's a special collaboration with New Japan Pro Wrestling. It's uh, obviously you guys know Bullet Club. If you guys are fans of uh, Japanese wrestling, it's a special Tekken collab. It has actually really nice details, making it look very Tekken-like. Has a cool Heihachi face uh, iconography. It's really cool. Super limited, obviously Japan only. So the only way we got it was Mark was nice enough to bring us one for you guys to give away on the stream here. Um, we also have to give a shout out to Gunner. Gunner uh, gave us two pairs of glasses today to give away to the fans. Um, these are the amber tinted glasses, help with eye strain. Uh, if you're an editor, a heavy gamer, streamer, uh, really great product to kind of uh, help, helps cut glare, helps helps your yeah, eye. Helps with eye, eye fatigue, it's really a great product. So if you guys are one of those dudes that stay in front of the computer uh, monitor all day long, it's probably for you. I find myself not blanking quite often. <laughs> yeah. It becomes rather painful. I get yeah. the I get the floaters. You guys ever get the floaters? No. In your oh, you see the the, the flares and stuff. Yeah. Like, what is that? Yeah, yeah. 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 That's well, a, that I think now. I think we're gonna get right into the show. We're gonna talk about what kind of happened recently within the community. We've been doing a lot of cool. Tech, what, what month are we in? It's May. early, early 2017. Still May it's first. Still, yeah. it still counts. <laughs> we're about one month away from the launch of Tekken 7. June 2nd, everybody. Yeah. That's the street date. Yeah. Xbox One, PS4, and Steam for the first time on PC. Yeah. I'm I'm super excited, but let's let's flash back. We were at Northwest Majors a few weeks ago, uh, up in uh, the Pacific Northwest in Seattle, or very close to Seattle, and we had a nice tournament there. Princess Ling ended up winning the tournament. Nice. Uh, just a week after that, we saw Princess Ling go back home to NorCal yeah, yeah. for NorCal Regionals, yeah, where yeah. we had an epic <laughs> tournament. I think everyone saw that one. Our <laughs> last our last guest that we had here on the yeah. Tech Talk Show, we had yeah, Bronson. Everyone Tran. knows Bronson. Yeah. Bronson puts on a good show. Yeah, he yeah. does. Well, we actually it was it was it was crazy because Chris Seg from uh, Tenno. 
uh, we talked about it. We wanted to mic up Bronson for the grand finals, yeah, and yeah. we did. So I if was you guys, wondering how that happened. Yeah. I was yeah. like, how did this dude get a mic yeah, on him yeah, too? Yeah. It was yeah. it was hilarious. So if you guys have a chance, check out the Bandai Namco official fight channel uh, on YouTube. You guys can see the VODs. But it was a, a hilarious top eight. But not only that, it's really notable. Obviously, Bronson got first place in the tournament. Congratulations, Princess Lynn got second. But third place was Punko, and that was yeah, really yeah. the first time that Punko has lost to a North American player in quite some time in second seven. So it's good to see that. Uh, starting to balance out a little bit. I don't know about balance out, but yeah, yeah, yeah. the Americans and he's like Akuma are specific on Tekken 7. Correct. I don't think of C's like awesome. any other character, right? Yeah, yeah. and he's been he's been uh, on fire in the past in, uh, Tekken Tour events. I think he's one of the few players to win multiple Tekken Tour events last year. Wow. So I'm looking forward to the rest. Like, you know when the game's finally out? I know we've been talking about it for a long time that yeah, Tekken yeah. is going to have a bigger focus on esports. Definitely. But that's probably going to be for yeah. another show. Super focused on tournament scene, guys. You know, we got a lot of great tournaments coming up. Of course, There's a we month got... left. There's got to be another show. Yeah. There is actually <laughs> another event before the game comes yeah. out and I want to talk about it real quick C -c -c combo breaker combo up. breaker yeah. coming uh, May 26th through 28th in uh, Rosemont oh, is it Rosemont Chicago near Chicago yeah near Chicago yeah so 26th to the 28th great tournament you know it's it's always been a, a huge spot for for Tekken yeah we're super excited for that um, and then moving into the launch period we're also gonna have uh, Wizard World um, that they're gonna be doing a big tournament in Philadelphia during the launch weekend of the game so if you're in the Philadelphia area definitely come by we're gonna there's gonna be big tournaments big party yeah uh, lots of prize money and yeah. I'll be out there so hopefully you guys can make it out there as well we'll play some Tekken and I'll have my my early advantage and be able to beat you guys for like one day <laughs> <laughs> yeah all those months of uh, Julio's playing just yeah. gets snubbed in, in one day. Yeah, when the game's finally <laughs> yeah. out, I'll finally start losing. But Cool. I forgot to mention one thing, guys. Over here, oh, I don't yes. know if you're seeing this giant thing here, but we're doing a huge giveaway today. We're doing some, as I said, the other raffle items. We're going to be giving those away, but we're going to be giving away this, this game's um, portable monitor set, the special Tekken branded version. So it's got... Give me a second here. Yeah, and you can't you can't buy this. This, this is, is you like can't a very buy this. special edition of it. This is what we've been using at some of the tournaments, on some of the press events. Uh, but we want to give a one one away to the fans. It's a portable monitor. Um, it's a great monitor, great refresh rate, everything perfect for for gaming uh, on the so go. So you can put your PlayStation One right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> your PS One. Sega Saturn yes, fits perfectly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. So yeah, you can put your console in here, um, and then it all folds up. It all comes with the cords, carrying cases, and everything. Yeah. We're gonna give that away on our Glee. There's a Gleam link um, that we're going to be putting in the chat, so keep an eye on that. Um, uh, put your name in the in the ring for that, and we'll pick that after the stream, and we'll let you know who we pick um, after the stream. Yeah, so but lots of love to our friends over at Project Games. They definitely. do great products. This is uh, obviously the, the Vanguard case, so if you guys are familiar with their products, check it out. This is a very specific Tekken-themed one, and I'm going to have to take one later. Or try to. <laughs> it, takes, it takes my gaze, man. I can't yeah. stop looking at it. Yeah, it's got the awesome <laughs> key art, the the Hihachi uh, Kazuya uh, key art. It's really awesome. It's got a nice matte finish to it. Yeah. Um, on that, before we start in the gameplay, I think we should just start a giveaway. Should we do one of the giveaways? Whoa, already? Yeah, I want to give away one of the, the Gunner glasses. These are a um, Micron Onyx with the amber finish Gunner glasses. So guys, to, to be eligible for the giveaway, just stay active in the chat. Uh, and you have a chance. So ask us questions. We got Max here. We got Mark here. We got questions about Tekken. Tell us about your Tekken memories, what you're looking forward to. And, uh, you know, you got a chance to win. So I'm going to roll that up. First winner, uh, Dom presses buttons. Wow. Dom presses buttons. Very appropriate. Yeah. Pressing buttons to win prizes. Yeah. But thank you I've, for tuning in. I just in. pressed a button. And now to give Dom presses button a, uh, a, a prize. So you just want some gunner glasses, man. We'll get your info, uh, and we'll, we'll shoot you a DM and uh, get you those glasses out to you. With that, I think we should jump into the gameplay. What do you think? Yeah, so I'm going to give everyone watching at home, uh, hopefully, a reason to pre-order the game. We're going to show off some <laughs> Eliza gameplay. Let's go right into it. So uh, I, I think you have the controls, Max. Oh, God. Let's go right into <laughs> offline. So if you guys are watching, this is probably, um, I don't know if you guys have seen the console version. We are using the latest version, of course. Uh, you notice there's a little trophy by the versus battle. We're using the, the tournament mode settings, and this is a feature uh, that's going to be in the final game. So uh, I'll explain it more as we go into the matches, but let's get right into it. I think I have to log in, though. Let me see. Okay, I'm good. Oh, I have to use a special button. There we go. Man, there's a, there's a, there's a nuke yeah. switch. You, have to, you gotta protect it. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, uh, Mark's playing on the uh, Hori, the Hori stick, yeah, the, the Tekken 7 Hori, Hori stick. stick. Yeah, this the is gonna be... The one that we showed off last time on, the, on uh, Tekken Talk. Yeah, this is gonna be available day and date when the game comes out for PS3, or PS4 and Xbox One, but of course this PS4 stick also compatible with PS3. I'm gonna ask, can I, can I press customize slot, and is that okay to show off? Do it. Yeah. 
All right. I, I had it prepped just right. for you. All right, all right. I don't know if they saw the thumbnail, but they'll right. see soon I like enough. Valley Toll. So maybe you want to do you want to show them also the controller settings now that we're here? Should we oh, film that? We'll, well? Okay, we'll go back to the character selection screen. screen. Is, is it in the game too? Yeah. But we want to show it at the character selection screen. Okay. I think that's where it'll have the biggest impact, yeah. especially for people that are familiar with streams and how tournaments flow. It is a godsend. So that's if you want to actually check button check without having to go into the Correct. Exactly. Without wasting everyone's life. Yeah, yeah. But I know commentators are really happy about that because it cuts the time out where you have to oh, talk yeah. over the button check. <laughs> so I'm going to be you get really excited and then completely not excited because quit. it's not like, why did they quit? Oh, happening. it's the button check. Yeah. <laughs> so we're using some custom outfits that we've uh, picked prior to the, the broadcast, but you guys can see this classic Tekken 4 gin. And this isn't like the Tekken 5 gin with the Tekken 4 hoodie. This is classic Tekken 4 gin proper. And I'm using the Bullet Club shirt on uh, Aliza. So why don't you uh, kind of talk us through uh, Aliza, kind of her style, her move set, her, her EX meter, kind of how she works. Sure, so you guys probably noticed already that she has that blood gauge at the bottom of the screen. Now, uh, just like Akuma, who also has a super meter gauge, he, she is able to do attacks and kind of build up some meter. But uh, another way to build a meter with her is to actually do attacks that cause her to uh, fall asleep. And she's... It's, it's where she's a narcoleptic vampire. She just randomly falls mm -hmm. asleep sometimes. Mm -hmm. So based on certain attacks, like if you duck for a while, she'll go right into sleep stance and she'll start building meter. So can I like, she's like whack her or you can move, vulnerable. right? She is vulnerable. Okay. She's okay. vulnerable, so, but you can, can you break out of the sleep anytime you want? It's, it's, it's not, can. is there a cooldown at all uh, to get out of the sleep or anything? Or There is slight cooldown, so she is vulnerable for a while, but yeah. if I wanted to block, I could, so I could just get up. Gotcha. But there are other moves, like let's say if I wanted to hit with this, hold forward. That forces me to go to sleep, and that's only on hit. So there's certain moves in the game that causes me to go to sleep, and of course, just so build that up the meter. that move because it puts you into sleep after the attack also builds the meter. Correct. Now let me show you what she can do with the meter. So yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the things is obviously when she has full meter, she'll have access to a super move. Yeah. But aside from that, she has access to some cancels. So similar to Akuma's uh, focus uh, dash cancel, she can cancel her fireballs into oh, what looks like an wow. EX cancel. Wow, okay. And she's able to cancel the fireball to either extend her combos oh, or nice. force a 50-50 mix-up. Okay. Was the bite giving her meter too, or is yes. it just raw damage? Okay. So the bite will also give her meter. So any of her attacks that actually have a bite, similar to like, let's say the one throw that she has, she'll take a bite out of Jin, but she'll also gain some extra meter out of it. So there's a lot of ways for her to get meter, and she becomes way more dangerous with that meter. But let's, let's try to get some matches in. Let's go. Yeah, okay. well, We'll let Mark unleash his, uh, his Aliza power. Nice block. Oh, right into the punish. Were you studying the frame data, Max? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> completely prepared. <laughs> okay, running out of time. Oh. Yeah. See, that was me talking too much. That's why we had a. Yeah, but I want to. I want to give the the fans at home a little overview of Aliza because uh, Eliza, excuse me, because I know she's. You know, kind of a character that we've only seen in trailers up to this point. Uh, as we said, she's the, the pre-order DLC character, so uh, pre-order would get a chance to play her day one. Um, she's a super interesting character. Only other character other than Akuma that has an EX meter. Um, and some really interesting mechanics. She goes from like a low to an uppercut. That's actually kind of awesome. Yeah, she could cancel a lot of her moves just like how Akuma has them. So it's actually pretty cool. So I that burned your that air. burned your meter, but that's not your rage arc. So no. she has a rage arc and a super. Correct. And I'm probably gonna land it right here. Uh, Never oh. mind. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm definitely gonna open up Netscape or America <laughs> Online and email somebody right now because that should have definitely absorbed that. What was that? There's a one frame the, after the invincibility. <laughs> maybe I don't know. I've that been was, playing. I've been playing for 30 minutes. Yeah, you, you're doing pretty good, but man, what happened there? I was supposed to have landed that, landed that, of course. Anyways, you're making use of some of her attacks. She has this fireball here. Let's see if we can get creative with it. All right, Max. So, uh, so just gonna go back at um, as you as they were talking about. You saw those presets. So, so in the character customization mode that we'll show a little bit later in the stream, you can set presets, and then when you're going into your versus mode, your online matches, you can choose that costume. So you kind of have the option of picking some custom costumes, which is awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow, so it's right into a tech throw setup. Yeah, she has a lot of setups for me. She's at a definitely advantage. Kind of similar to the same kind of situation that Kumo will go in when he does the FADC fireball cancel, where she can combo afterwards if it hits, or she can have a mix. Why don't we go back to the character selection and show the, um, the control uh, options in the. Sure. Yeah. And also, let's, why don't we put on her uh, classic costume just so the, the fans at home can see her classic costume? I don't have her classic costume equipped, I didn't make a profile for it. 
So I, we no, can, you, you can default, can't you just? Oh, her default, default costume. Yeah, 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 default costume. So uh, you tried out some Akuma earlier, right? A little bit. So here, so here you're right, showing the. We'll have Max show it up. So. Just so you guys know, like there's there's ways to do like uh, controller settings, but can you go back to the you bring it up? Yeah. This is just like the games that you know and love, where you can just dial the buttons in. You don't have to toggle yeah, it left and press, right. Yeah. You press the button you want. So if you want left throw, just hit the button you want it to be uh, designated. And to. Rage Art is actually on R1 by default, yeah. which is pretty nice, especially when Akuma comes to multiple button presses. So I, I like it. Yeah, yeah, that's like actually it. pretty good. And another thing that's new is uh, under character movements, you see there's a D-pad and a left analog stick. Mm -hmm. You could actually just change it to D-pad only because like you sometimes people accidentally hit the analog stick but I think the best part is you can check your button input and this is essentially going to eliminate button checks before the matches so if you go to check button input and just hit the X button it'll show the virtual uh, controls there and you can actually test all your buttons prior to getting into nice. the match which obviously is great for tournaments when people are switching out sticks, switching out their custom pads. Yeah, you name not it, yeah. just not just great for tournaments, but people can check if their controllers are working. Yeah, it's 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 an epidemic. Sometimes oh, people you know, go into play and their controllers are. Or they are you at your buddy's house and you're saying like, oh my controller's busted, and you're like, nah, dude, I you just checked it, man. It right I'm there. looking, the buttons are working. <laughs> All right, let's go back into. I'm gonna use. Uh, let's go, Lisa, again. Let's, yeah, let's let me. This yeah. is gonna be a match. The the only characters that have meters in the yeah. game. Yeah, this is. They're both kind of like dark. So she has like characters she's well. sort of the Street Fighter S because she has a bar. She can kind of sort of F A D C cancel some moves as well, like yep. Akuma can, right? And you know what? She is a. Uh, I mean, I'll try to showcase more of her specific skills, but she's very much like a Street Fighter character. But she, I believe, in my opinion, she's more of a Tekken character than Akuma is. It's gotcha. A lot of her moves, but she does have some of those mechanics in play. So if you were playing Akuma PUC at maybe some of the pre-release events or you just know Akuma in general, you should feel right at home with using Eliza. She's much different than her Tekken Revolution counterpart. It's just funny playing Akuma and pressing up forward and he just straight goes. <laughs> yeah. He just flies into the air and I'm like, yeah. this is very alien yeah. in this kind of a game. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Eliza, 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 excuse me, has a, a little bit higher jump than most of the other characters Correct. too, right? Because just like Akuma, she could do jumping attacks. Yeah, I see. That's that, she could also cancel. She could do like low kicks to fireballs. She could do pretty much a lot of stuff that Akuma does, but she doesn't have the almighty uh, focus attack castle. So that was a power crush you just used right there. Yeah, correct. So power crush is an armor attack. It absorbs one hit and then uh, falls through with an attack. So it's if you can telegraph, uh, you know you're you're uh, they're going to go for a mid attack here. You can use a power crush to kind of uh, counteract that. Correct. So Alex Turpin's asking, uh, who has your favorite rage art? Oh, my favorite rage art right now. I'm really liking Lee's. Mm -hmm. Lee and Violet have one of the, probably I think the coolest. I think for just pure spectacle, I like Kuma's because he hits you with a giant fish. Mm -hmm. And then when when you hit him with the fish, the fish actually stays on the stage and flops around. <laughs> it's like I absolutely love. Yeah. I remember you got pretty hyped when you landed last time. <laughs> so I'm gonna show uh, some of Eliza's moves that you guys probably haven't seen yet. But she has like an EX dive kick, which goes right into a screw attack. And if you guys are familiar with the screw attack, it's kind of a new system uh, for the combo mechanics in the game. It kind of replaces uh, the bound that you guys might remember from the past game. I was going to ask that because it was me figuring out the combo structure of the game and what a Kuma screw attack is, which is actually is like double roundhouse. So there you see the screw from Eliza yep. when she does her one, two, four. But like, just like you said, w when you're using a Kuma, you could just do four, three, or you could do a launch. And then four, three goes right into screw, and then a Kuma can just yep. pick his follow up after that. So it is a mix, of course, of different games. Like if you know the Street Fighter stuff, you'll have to learn, of course, the Tekken mechanics for combos and juggling. Yeah. And that's really what, what makes those characters dangerous. So no one's forcing you guys to play like super competitive, but if you want to learn the game, there's uh, a lot of depth. And this is one of my favorite stages, uh, Precipice of Fate. I just love the, the feel of the stage. I mean, who doesn't want to battle on some epic, top of an epic mountain? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you can do one button rage art. Oh, you did a super. <laughs> my toes did. Nice. <laughs> one second left on the clock. All right, I'm gonna try to make use of that that meter. Oh, right into the ground. Max with that pressure, he's trying to get that vortex on me. Uh, Dragon Dragon Massage 77 is asking. Uh, Dragon Massage? <laughs> Dragon Massage, that's a name. Some, give him something for his name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Uh, what, uh, what's your favorite female fighter in Tekken? Oh, oh. Uh, well, how about you, Max? Oh, man. I'd have to actually go with, um, I like Kazumi a lot, like the, the new character. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's actually one of the ones I really like from the new roster because she literally throws tigers. Yeah, as who soon as I saw that, I'm like, oh, that is awesome. Yeah, who doesn't yeah. want a character that can just command a tiger? Not just that she has, like, the tiger uppercut. Yeah. There's no more tiger uppercut <laughs> in the other game. <laughs> oh, nice, nice drink. That's pretty buff. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna show a little bit more of Eliza. I'll show her other outfit. Do you wanna show the stage select? Uh, yeah, let's go to stage select. Okay. Cool. While we're doing that, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna give away the, uh, the Bullet Club tee. <gasps> All right, guys. Someone in the chat. One of the lucky 4,500 plus people. There is a lot of people in the chat yeah. right now. I'm getting nervous. Okay. Stay active. It's a, it's a XL, so it's like Japanese sizes. They're a little bit smaller than XL, so they're. It's like a large ish. A large -ish. plus. Yeah. A large plus. All right, we're rolling it. All right, let me pick the, the second player outfit. Okay, win wins Shrek Super Slam. Win Shrek Super Slam one. Win win man, Shrek Super Slam. Names. That's a good name, man. The question win Shrek Super Slam. You just uh, wins Pac-Man Fever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Pac-Man Fever. We know. Chips. We know that uh, that Max loves that Pac-Man. We just Fever. played it. That game was <laughs> something else. Well, congrats. Uh, win Shrek Super Slam. Congrats, man. You just won the the exclusive uh, Bullet Club Tekken shirt straight from Japan, man. We'll get your information and we'll uh, we'll send it out to you, man. Congratulations! Yeah, of course, make sure you guys stay tuned. There's more prizes throughout the day, and then you still yeah. have a chance to win. As I, as I said, we have still the um, the game screen is still up for grabs. So look for that Gleam link uh, in the in the chat. Uh, just follow us, follow our different accounts, and you have a higher chance of uh, winning that item. So keep an eye out for that, guys. All right, let's see if we can get a, a match going. Oh, I love this stage too. At least some of the lava doesn't burn. No, it doesn't. <laughs> that's, that's, pre that's pretty wicked. I, I have lava doesn't burn. <laughs> yeah. he's, he, he's a devil anyway, yeah, right? So <laughs> it doesn't bother. Oh, you were studying something. I studied. Uh, there, there's some pre canned combos <laughs> yeah. that it tells you how to play, and I absolutely went to those. <laughs> yeah, so uh, in the training mode, guys, that's actually an interesting fact. Uh, in the training mode, they'd actually tell you some some low-level combos and then even some of the even the high-level combos uh, some of the combos that I think are you know for even great for competitive play oh yeah obviously more combos will be uh, coming out of the woodworks as the game falls into the hands oh here we go here's the rage art I don't know what she's doing but it looks pretty painful oh. So what are some of your favorite uh, stages in Tekken 7, Mark? I know for you've been me, playing I, I, for a bit. I, I like the Infinite Azure the most. Oh, yeah. That, we that, play that one. That stage is so sick. And also, um, one thing to note, too, is some all the stages kind of have different uh, modifiers. Some don't have walls. Mm -hmm. Some have two li levels. Some uh, change slightly based on what round you're on. There's also um, dynamic weather effects, uh, dynamic changes to the, uh, the stages based on what round you're on. So some stages change time of day. Some, some stages just have rain uh, it just adds kind of a more epic epic uh, level to the to the fight oh there you go oh, oh nice counter got you for that timing oh hers hers is better yeah she got that here's a little dive kick battle is that what we're playing fight I want to do sick combos mark stop it <laughs> Captain well, King Dogs asked, "Who's, a, who's you your favorite new character?" Oh. Um, I'm with, I think I'm with Max. Kazumi is one of my favorite new characters. Yeah, I like her a lot. Um, who do you like? Who do you like, Mark Lee? In in this game? Yeah. Uh, it's tough. I, I'd say my favorite new character is Josie. Josie? Yeah. But if we were just talking like fa fa favorite female character, I, I'll say JC or Julia. Okay. Where is she? Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we decided to uh, give you 30 plus characters that we thought were the best, the best selection for the roster. Oh, nice CP. Oh, see, Max isn't used to the cheater button yet. He has access to one button. I have a demon. Button. I'm, I'm he hasn't been it using yet. it. He hasn't been abusing I it. I actually me. find myself doing jab, jab, forward, short. And I'm like, I wait. Thanks so much to the 5K, 5K guests we have uh, watching us. Right now, you're watching uh, Maximilian Dude as Akuma play what? against uh, Mark Man as uh, Eliza. They're playing. Um, at the foot of a volcano, which is pretty epic, if you ask me. Yeah, we're trying to recreate uh, Star Wars Episode Three. <laughs> I have the higher. You were the chosen one. <laughs> yep. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, you beat my... 
What? Did, how did that combo? Oh my. I hope that hit in times. No! No, I'm doing a lot of stuff I don't understand completely yet. Oh, you knew I was gonna go low. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm getting launched from a low. I have to stop this. Final round. Akuma, it's time to leave. Is that, so her uh, her uppercut uh, move that you're using there, Mark, is that punishable? It's super punishable. It's just like yeah. uh, Akuma's, like, she, she'll get launched if she gets blocked. Got it. Why is it not comboing? Oh. oh. Big counter hit. Not where you want to be. No. Oh, oh nice. Oh, final round. It's coming down to it. He's blocking low. I'm oh, dead. the rage art. Oh, oh nice. Try to lock oh, how did you know? Oh, you this is close. You might have played this game a little bit before. Both in the rage. Oh. Oh, oh the rage art. Please. Oh, oh, he's got me. Please. If that's not did you an button that. I, of course not. If that's not an of epic finish, not. I don't know what it what that's what the most you, epic finish. What do you oh, think? No. I did I did more inputs than you need. Nice man. Oh man. That was awesome. Alright. Cool. So I think now we're gonna change it up, maybe show some of the new game modes. Yeah, actually oh. there's a lot of cool stuff that we want to show. We'll jump back into the gameplay, but Yeah, yeah. You know, we have uh, a lot to show off. You know, as you said, the game's only a month away. There's a lot in this game to unpack. Okay. So um, I think we're going to jump in and I show a little bit of the story mode. Oh, wow. uh, oh, yeah. We're going to show the prologue and a little uh, the first chapter or two, depending on time. And then they show the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They show the whole thing. Beginning to end, right yeah. now. Yeah. So we'll Get go into the, the story. This is the main, uh, the meat of the storyline of the game. It's going to be uh, the story mode, the Mishima Saga. Yeah. And uh, you guys can see I, I already went through some of this, but we're going to go to the prologue. And we're gonna play maybe the first like 10 to 15 minutes of the game. Yeah, we're gonna show the first 15 minutes and then we'll jump in and show you some of the other modes. We're gonna get into the treasure battle, some of the character customization, some of the PS PS4 exclusive modes like the jukebox. Um, yeah, we got a lot to show here. I'm there's excited a lot. to show the jukebox. There's stuff. a lot there's a lot locked in the game here. So maybe we'll just bring it down, people Screw can watch this. Words, what is this? I love you. Such a nice message. I was I love so you, happy <laughs> I cried. Really rings true in the Mishima family, I think. Right? At the time, <laughs> I believed that love was all anyone needed. For some years now, I've been investigating a certain father and son, and I managed to get a hold of the first letter the boy wrote to his father. It said, Father, one day, I will tear you to pieces. you do want a spoiler-free experience for the Machina Saga, I would recommend taking a, taking a 10 minute break, go walk around, because uh, we're gonna show the prologue. Um, some of this stuff already went out online, so this is crazy new, but we do want to give you the option to walk away if you uh, are a purist. Go walk away, watch it. Don't worry, I'm an expert. Wow. So this is using the story assist, so you guys see that uh, as, as, as Max presses R1, he has access to different moves. And those moves will if I don't up. press R1, you essentially go back to regular. And he's doing 10, 10 hit strings. And Heihachi just taking it like a champ. No effect at all. That's pretty bad. Crotch of iron. <laughs> yeah, he has that. He definitely has that. This is my my favorite. Um, I mean, I played this before, so this is like my favorite QTE of the game. Yeah, yeah. I saw this and <laughs> I was like, this is, oh, I was hoping it was going to happen as he was walking towards the coast. I'm like, please. This is the evolution of the quick time event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After all the terrible stuff we've seen throughout the years, this is the moment. It's about emotional moment. decisions. Correct. And one thing it's I want. It's not about reflex. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, are you gonna Are you gonna be one of those guys that just, you wait a little bit? Now, yeah, I yeah. know the secret code to be a loving father and nurture your oh. son, mm -hmm. but you know what? It's a video game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Take him to daycare. <laughs> Take him to daycare. Well, the daycare was on the bottom floor, I guess. <laughs> Man. That's a dark opening. That is the, the, the story to be told. I am very curious where it goes from this point because the what is eventually going to happen is going to have to be some sort of redemption for Kazuya. 
so it looks like we are uh, somewhere out in the desert. Looks like this is members of either, I think it's G Corporation, and they're searching for somebody. Mm, I wonder who they're looking for. Uh, <laughs> hope it's someone with, uh, with lemonade. Okay. Oh, Roger. <laughs> Roger, oh man, he's out there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking for Lay and Anna. Oh man, I shouldn't have said that. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's going to trigger the stream chat. But anyways, there you guys can see the character in the background. You guys might know who that is just based on his uh, clothing. The Edge Master. The Edge yeah. Master. When you got straps on your pants, you know. <laughs> like we, just, we just triggered the, the Soul Calibur fans now too. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so there's Nina, of course, making her comeback. Uh, she first made her comeback in Tekken 7 Faded Retribution, but now Prominently featured in the story here in between the Mishima Saga. I'm a big fan of changing character designs, and Waifu Nina is a is a really good call. Yeah. So just changing the way she looks from the the battle costume. Oh shit! Oh, you said that you. <laughs> it's okay because he's a cop. He can say that. He can say that. The like, and all the stream yeah. <laughs> you guys see this? This is this is like actual cutscenes from like Tekken Six and yeah. past games. I'm wondering because there's so much of like a, a, a big amount of Tekken legacy on here with the old music tracks. It's somewhere on this disc is Death by Degrees. <laughs> somewhere. I could, I'm going to find it, man. If you find it, you let me know. I well, that was Azrael, right? Uh, I think that's yeah. the pronunciation. It's, uh, is it Az 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 Azrael? Azrael? It's the boss from Tekken 6. Really nasty yeah. boss from Tekken 6. Yeah. Or was it Azazel? As now Azazel? I think it's Azazel. A battle yeah. between the Mishima it has been a long time. And the bane of our quarters. <laughs> <laughs> One which has kept the wheels of turmoil spinning day This is way too much day. CNN for me. It's winner take It's like the real news. <laughs> and the prize <laughs> is world it's, it's dominant. from the Mishima Zaibatsu. <laughs> so is like, is like Nina kind of he running the Zaibatsu now that I guess Jin has gone was missing? missing? In the Middle yes, East. okay. His whereabouts so Jin uh, obviously was in charge of the machine about to about to during yeah. the second six period, but because he's missing now, Nina, Nina in had to position. step in. But I mean, that kind of leaves him vulnerable. What could happen if your boss is gone? Well, I guess we'll find out. At least he looks cool. Increase If a UN soldier so much as sneezes, I want to know. But so is the Zaibatsu, I feel like, every year just gets exponentially uh, <laughs> bigger in scale. More and more <laughs> evil and maniacal yeah, yeah. in some way. It's like, <laughs> you gotta have a good rivalry. I mean, it's, it's always the Mishima Zaibatsu and the G Corporation, and that's what it's been over the past few iterations of the games. And Big Daddy Heihachi coming back, of course, the former head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. So Heihachi being super young in Tekken Tag 2 is technically not canon. No, it wasn't. Okay, okay. It was, it was, it was, just, it was just a dream match type thing. Correct. Okay. And he's wearing that sweet uh, kind of like samurai style uh, costume. Yeah, new armor. So looking to take back what was rightfully his, there his were old demons company. In this world, what form would they take? People the loving that, Nina, that the Nina costume. Still me. <laughs> they would. <laughs> they that would. day, I was reporting so back from to the narration from this mysterious uh, gathering news this character about the war to bring to the world. It's Roger. When I headed back, I didn't know he tossed. That was his voice. <laughs> it's all from Roger's perspective. He's looking at this guy. Yeah. <laughs> How could my hometown <laughs> come under attack? How much are we gonna show? Is it? It's returned, getting intense. Nothing was as I remember. I'm getting more and more committed to this. I think we could show. Uh, let's show the next uh, playable section, and then we'll jump back to the okay. other modes. But now tanks. And we want to keep it, you know, fresh for the fans. The streets, um, like an iron wall. Yeah, we're really excited about the kind of the narrative arc of this story. Um, I think the, the fans are going to love it. Oh yeah. I know there's some some surprises throughout that uh, that we don't want to talk about, but uh, there's some exciting moments throughout that. Some interesting gameplay mechanics, some, some good matchups, some some boss battles, uh, some cool stuff. Oh man, and let me tell you, okay, I was talking to Max about this earlier. You guys probably know if you guys follow Max or watch some of his content, he has this cool. Uh, series of videos, Everyone this cool feature called, uh, is it Boss Rage? Rage? Something like that. Yeah. Something like <laughs> that. Did I, did I mess it up? No, no, yeah, it's okay. absolutely it. My old but life ended. I'm just going to say this. There are some crazy boss battles in this in game. No spoilers, of course. They wouldn't even tell me. So I'm like, I'm like, uh, now i got to wait what? a month to try to find uh, where it is and how to unlock and, it. And if you guys know Mark, Mark is pretty, pretty good at Tekken. Uh, he's been playing this game for years Should and years. Should I tell him how long it took me to beat it? Uh, no. I'm still did you, have you actually it. beaten yes. it? You didn't tell me that. Yes, you did. Okay. It was like at 7 a.m. <laughs> That's a truly good boss. It was at 7 a.m. 
five hours after I started. That's a truly good boss fight. So yeah, and that was on the hardest, the hardest mode, right? Because you wanted to get the. Uh, yes. Um, there's obviously a special unlock if you if you can beat it on that mode. Yeah, so when you go guys. into the online tournaments, good everyone luck. knows that you're the real boss. <laughs> So it looks like Heihachi's trying to infiltrate so, them. Yeah, yeah, Heihachi's taking the direct approach. Yeah. I mean, not taking the stairs. The one-man army. Coyote, Coyote Gray asks, uh, is there any gingers in this game? Uh, Unfortunately not. <laughs> well, because of the robust <laughs> customization in the game. Oh, that's convinced. true. Yes. I can create a ginger character of my Correct. own. You can make devil ginger. Thank you. Devil ginger. <laughs> you can definitely make them. But man, so this is the Mishima building, uh, one of my favorite stages in the game. But actually scaling or jumping down the this path. was one of the newer faded retribution yeah. uh, stages right yeah i love that stage that's the music what are you doing catch him quick uh oh looks like nina's starting to panic here of course if you guys have any questions in the stream chat let us know we'll be filtering some of the questions throughout the show hopefully we can answer them what is he doing yeah. oh yeah i guess uh um, Hoang is a little bit of a ginger. He's Korean. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe. I guess if you count the hair. Yeah. Yeah. He's got kind of like an amber. Do you, do you see that? Wow. Yeah, Hihachi can uh, uppercut yeah. missiles, man. That's how strong he is. He didn't. He didn't uh, miss leg day either. He didn't flinch <laughs> at all. Yeah. Oh, what a pain in the neck. Pain in the neck. One of the things that, that kind of made me the most excited for a potential story mode in Tekken was when last year in Harada was on the Xbox press conference at oh, E3. Yeah. And then the moment it transitioned from the cinematic to the gameplay and oh, it yeah. was seamless, I was like, what? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. one thing we're super proud about. This I think game at is... that point, I was ready for Tekken 7 to come out. Yeah. Like, that was the moment. Now it's just been, oh God, please let the game come out. There's some fantastic moments where, you know, two characters punch each other and then right when that happens, you're, it says fight and you're right in the game. Well, see, that's the thing too. What I was experiencing is I wasn't ready and I was like, oh man, yeah, I yeah, need you're like, the controller. Yeah, you're like waiting for that black screen. You're like drinking, drinking water. There you go. Yeah, and just like that. Well, nice. You were ready for it. I was <laughs> ready for it. It's right into it. I might have seen this before. All right, so now fighting against some of the Tekken Force members. Crushing with the hunting hook. Now has him against the wall. Whoa, this guy, okay. this whoa. guy, this guy, this oh, guy, this guy, this guy, no more, you, yeah. done. Uh, rookie of the year over here. <laughs> yeah, you're a much more honest fighter than I am, I, I use the story assist in the Okay, group. fine. I did the one button electric when got this all the time. <laughs> Oh yeah, all day. Let's just get a three or four of these in here. Yeah. Man, I, there's so much power at my fingertips right now. I have never been able to do so many quick gods like this. Oh, okay. Mix it I up. I switched it back. I'm just gonna use it for one and then go to the other one. Oh, he's fighting back. <laughs> wow, this is let me throw you. This so Mark, guy can you talk a little bit about the um, like the scalability of difficulty in the in the story mode? Not just in the story mode, in the game in general, there is a. Uh, <laughs> It's just gonna sound crazy because you guys are probably used to like you know the easy, the medium, the hard, the ultra hard. But in the story mode, there is ten levels of difficulty. Wow, ten oh. levels. It goes from one star oh, to ten stars. No, hi oh no, hi no. Is this is it how it's gonna end? No, don't worry about no, it. I, there's no. Well, should it end? I don't know. No, let's let's give him one more chance. Okay, let's okay, give him okay, one more okay. chance here. That's my I, bad. Ma Max needs doesn't want to go out like needs that. Needs more god fist. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Oh, so 10 levels of time. difficulty and all, so the AI can be programmed from 1 to a 10. Uh, not, you can't go 1, one, one to 9 to 10. You can, yeah, yeah. It's like uh, four different difficulty levels, but they're rated by stars. So the uh, hardest difficulty yeah. is 10. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Yes. And there is a huge difference between, I'd say, like a 4 and a 10. And you guys will just have to experience that once you play the story mode, of course. And there are, uh, there's, oh, reasons nice. why, there's reasons why you want to play on harder difficulties. It's just you know, for the completionists, for people that really like to enjoy the game and just challenge, it's worth it. And then there's actually some, yeah, I wonder what level we're playing on now. I don't know what we put Max on. Uh, it's we're... probably the default, so it probably... Oh, oh nice, power nice. crash. <laughs> oh, yeah. there's still more guys, don't die. Do you get rage arts in story? Uh, you, you, you do during certain points. Oh no, I was relying on that, Mark. <laughs> oh, that's why you went down? That's why I was kind of getting down here a little bit. I wanted to show it off. Oh, oh God! <laughs> <laughs> it's 
I, I, I think we'll. Uh, All right, we'll, we'll, might we'll have to leave it there. there. Let's go That's to the main menu. That's my bad chat room. <laughs> yeah, That's my bad main menu. Yeah, let's uh, let's show off the yeah, game we're gonna... we talk about earlier. So Max and I were kind of geeking out. We're both uh, longtime fans of the Tekken series. Let's go to the jukebox mode real quick. Yeah, yeah. Let's check out the jukebox. Now we saved a playlist earlier. So one of the features in in the Tekken jukebox is you have access to all the Tekken. And maybe go all the way over. You can show them that we have all every game here. So almost all the Tekken songs. Yeah, almost all. The there's Tekken there's songs. one that's missing that really one breaks my heart. Specific one that we just investigated. We can no longer knock them down to that song. Yeah, <laughs> I need that. <laughs> But, uh, run but run it, run. I'm gonna run it, homie. But so, so what you can do is you can either select that game to be all the music in the game. Correct. So yeah, let's so say fine. you only want Tekken Tag music in, you set that, and all the songs will be changed to Tekken Tag. Or you have the option to custom make your own playlist. Yeah. So you can choose Tekken Five, Tekken Four, Tekken Tag Two, and then a combination of when certain stages play, it'll play that song. Yes. When you're in a certain mode. So you guys can see there, you could you could set. The, the the just the regular stage but also when it's at the final round or the potential final round it'll go to a different track so we've customized that in our playlist and we'll show you what we have uh just to kind of give you an example of how the flow of the match would go and how it would sound but aside from that like i said you have access to every single song if you put it in shuffle mode it'll change the song every round yeah so if you just like tekken music or if you like tekken 2 music or tekken 3 music you can play everything and there's a mode for e all games so all, yes, so, Al almost all games. So pretty much Tekken one to seven, including Revolution and Tag one, Tag you two. You can shuffle every song. Yes. Uh, other than other than the knocking them down. <laughs> <sighs> Sad. <laughs> so it's a really awesome mode. This is a PS4 exclusive mode. Just want to put that out there. Yep. Uh, so if you're a PlayStation uh, player, you will have access to this mode. Cool, but I mean that's a, a really cool showcase. Let's. Uh, do you want to go to customization or do you want to go to the gallery? Let's go to the gallery and then we'll play a treasure battle and then we'll go customization. Okay. Let me just set this song really quick to be the proper. There we go. Okay. Did you did you give us? Oh. Okay. I made sure Moonlit Wilderness Tekken Five and Tekken Tag Two are set. We'll, we'll, say, back we'll to save back. that for yes, later. Yes, the jukebox mode is free if you play on PlayStation Four. It's it's on. It's you don't have to buy Where the songs go, or anything. Let's go to the uh, gallery mode. Okay. So we'll back out here, we'll save this so we can have access to the songs later. But uh, just a, a gallery is probably what you guys expect. You guys have access to all the cinematics from pre previous games, but artwork. not just the cinematics, the artwork as well. And so why don't you jump in there, Tekken 1. Um, yeah. Show them show that, that, that cool, potentially going to be my, my tattoo sleeve. Oh, yeah. This thing right here. Look at that. We can zoom right into Jack's eyes. Look at Jack's eyes. dead eyes. <laughs> <laughs> He's focused. He's a man on a mission. So as you can see in the corner, guys, you see fight money there. So um, mode, different modes allow you to earn what's called fight money that then you can use to buy uh, items, customization items, uh, cinematics, artwork uh, in, in these different uh, menus. Let's just say you're a big Tekken fan and you're like, I don't want to see this. I've seen all the Tekken artwork. I've seen all the Tekken cinematics. But there's probably stuff that you haven't seen. So if you go back to the main menu, the gallery, and go down towards uh, the bottom there, you'll see that there's some cinematics you probably haven't seen, and it's namely from like the Tekken Pachinko games, the Patchy Slot games, there's a lot of CG stuff that's, that really hasn't been out there. So really you can kind of access the whole legacy of the, you know, the progression of cinematics in the game, yeah, you know, artwork. Uh, you can see all kinds of crazy you know, Obviously stuff. things like the intro movies for characters, intro movies for Tekken, always been a super iconic part of this, the series, the franchise. So if you kind of want to live, relive that nostalgia, you can buy these. Yeah, so you want, let's say you want this cool image of Heihachi that you've probably never seen before. <laughs> On his cell phone. I have never seen this before. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of special artwork. There's the, the Galaga theme stuff, all kinds of cool stuff. I'm just spending all the money, I'm sorry. It's all good. <laughs> I'll have to earn more. But it really, really is a nice fan service for, for Tekken enthusiasts. Cool, so let's, uh, I want to jump back to the main menu and we'll jump into a treasure battle. Sure, let me, let me jump in. I'm going to tag in on here. Okay. So let me log in. Now, what is what is treasure battle exactly? Because I have not been able to treasure battle even is, try it out yet. Uh, it's kind of like the arcade mode. Um, okay. So what it does is you play uh, three rounds, right? And yeah, then, we'll we'll show yeah. exactly what what treasure battle is. So it's it's, th it's the most ideal way to earn the credits um, by yourself. To gotcha. earn cash yeah. and to earn items yeah. and the ability to unlock certain items for your character or for just various characters throughout the game. So let's see. I'm gonna pick my main character here. I'm gonna try to actually do some damage. Let's see. Let me 
Why don't you pick that? Let's pick that PlayStation one. The classic game? Yeah. So this is a that costume is a PlayStation Four exclusive costume. Obviously, classic. Mm. The classic King. Tekken Two King. Tekken Two, passed out in the alleyway. So are any like <laughs> legacy characters from like older Tekken games, like Tekken Three and before, do they all have classic costumes? Not all of them do, but um, there's a lot of throwback costumes that you'll see. And like right here, you see oh, Eddie with yeah. his classic wow. Tekken Three costume, and I, I don't know if people have seen it yet. Yeah. That might be new. Maybe. Kenny, we'll, we'll eat your heart out. <laughs> oh, so this is continuing from my game from before. So this, these are actually pretty high rank guys, and I couldn't block that. <laughs> I could not oh, block no. that. Oh wow, yeah, it says win 16 at the other side. So, so, so tell us, uh, Mark, that there's a chest in the in the bottom of the screen. So yeah. that's what you're you're fighting for. That right? is what's on the line here. And sometimes so you'll fight matches where it's a different colored chest or there's multiple chests. So you really have to make sure you're fighting your best here if you want to capitalize on the matchup. But right now, Eddie's kind of wow. putting on the hurt, but this should end him right here. Nice. But well, you'll see at the end of the fight, you'll have the option of continuing the battle, or you can exit and just maybe play. Oh, so here's there. a this is stage is awesome. So this is the machine with tower, so it actually moves up. You go up in the elevator um, on the different rounds. So when it says Mr. Aflo Master up there, that's this particular character that you're playing. Like it, it, you guys have played past second games, there's a ghost battle. So you, you guys play against different computer AI controlled characters. And uh, that's basically what this is. It's, it's, it's the new take on Ghost Battle. Uh, you don't have the option to select from three different characters. Now it'll automatically put you up against someone that's close to your rank. So you can either get a promotion for your rank, or you can get items that are kind of scaled toward where your character's progression is. Will they like randomly have crazy arcade customizations all over them? They will have random crazy customizations, but not only that, uh, we'll try to get it. Hopefully we'll get it within the next few battles. But every few battles, you're going to have an encounter that has special rules. Whether oh, wow. it's turbo, like modifiers, double damage, or you fight against a super powerful version of a So you character. just got a sci fi blade as an item in that chest, as well as. Um, it's like a saber made of light or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. You unlock all kinds of items here that you can customize. Uh, there's two different, actually, two different kinds of customization in this game. There's player customization. Oh, no, we weren't ready for that. You went too deep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to go right back into at it. 16 wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They weren't ready for they all the prizes. <laughs> they didn't think so I would get that So obviously, guys, far. we're still uh, still about a month away from lunch, so uh, <laughs> still a few little kinks we're working out, but no biggie. So yeah. in terms of, like, I saw some customization items can be upwards of, like, the hundreds of thousands. Each one of those games were giving you, like, 50K. Oh, yeah. Approximately. So in a couple of matches, you can get enough to kind of afford a body piece or something like that. And that's what I was kind of wondering about because the customization options are a plenty. Yeah. Like there's a lot and yeah. I'm like, I really want some of these, but how long is it going to take me to unlock? And that's a good game. And what about what about uh, just normal versus, are there any other ways other than the treasure battles to earn the fight money? What are some of the other ways? You there's earn? a number of ways. So like when you play story mode, you'll have a way to earn money, arcade okay. mode. Uh, not in versus battle by yeah, itself. Yeah, of course, because then you can milk it a lot. <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. It, would, it would be kind of like Put your younger brother on there and just beat him up and yeah. see. But any credits. of the, the progression against the actual computer-controlled characters, you're able to earn some money. Uh, not necessarily items. Items is, is just for uh, treasure battle. All right, so I'm going to go back in here and get my revenge against uh, the computer. Maybe I'll try Eddie. Yes. I'm thinking, I'm thinking there might be one or two people that really want to see this, and I know one of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you guys are in the stream chat and you like some Eddie Gordo, press some kicks. <laughs> Let me see them X's and O's. Yes. <laughs> but I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Eddie. Eddie's been one of my main characters for the past few Tekken games. You know, you know what's funny? Like, whenever uh, a new Namco 3D fighting game comes out, mm -hmm. I think we're always, like, the first to play each other online. I, dude, every single time. <laughs> Soul <laughs> Calibur 5, I think it happened in Tekken Tag 2 as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got a promotion chance here. And this is in that new stage of Precipice of Fate. So tell us about promotion match. This uh, will up your rank, and then as you go up in rank, the battles get harder, and then you earn more fight money, better items. Oh, yeah. Okay. You have a chance for a lot of this stuff. To eventually get a shower head constantly raining on you. Yeah. Right. Or, or you pull out the lightsaber to any of the cool stuff that you like. No, it's it's a sci-fi blade. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry about sci-fi blade. I forgot about licensing. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. It's a light blur. <laughs> So yeah, this is a really fun mode for, you know, if you're not as interested in online play or maybe you're just trying to hone your skills, you could kind of work your way up through these promotions as well as, uh, you know, unlock some awesome items. 
I would say for a lot of the people that haven't had a chance to play Tekken 7 or are just kind of getting introduced to it now, I've been I've been watching this game for like about a year on Green Tekken because Faded Retribution has been out on arcades for a little while. Yeah, yeah. And I've always wanted to, to touch the game to see what it's like because I had a little bit of time at E3 back in the day. Yeah. And it feels like it's right in between the speed of a game like Tekken 5 and Tekken Tag. Like mm -hmm. right in between the two. And that's what I was kind of looking for. Oh, the this most. is it. So this is what I was talking about. You get a special battle, or you have a chance for a special battle every few matches. But this is Turbo Battle, oh my and you guys are gonna see how crazy this is. Oh, it's like pretty hard to control, but it really changes the juggle physics of the game as well. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Wait. Everything wait, is sped up. Wait. <laughs> but let's see what else we can do with this. Oh, she blocked it. I was trying to do crazy, but. I'm um, expecting a giant mushroom to come in like the Wii U version. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be crazy. And usually all of that wouldn't hit, but just because of the, the juggle physics and the change in Turbo Battle, you're able to make this stuff work out. So is she on Turbo as well? Yeah. Oh, wow. We're just That's not crazy. seeing it because she, she's not getting a chance. Oh, so now, so that was worth two, two, two uh, loop boxes. I don't Correct. know So those special chests. battles usually more is on the line, so here you get a Oh, so there's chest. different ranks of the chests as well, okay. Correct. And the, the, so what the we most get? What do we get? valuable one is, uh, well, we got a oh, serrated, serrated blade. blade. Oh, yes. The Daruma, the Daruma game, game accessory. accessory. Please, like tell me that, <laughs> please tell me that collapses at um, some point. A must have. A okay. must have. Well, cool. So maybe we should jump in and show some of those uh, customizable options. Yeah. Let's uh, actually let's go into what's what's new in the game is the actual uh, player customization, okay. which is not the character specific outfit stuff but more of like what you see on the screen there. So you guys see, uh, it shows my player panel there. I could actually choose a subtitle here for my for my name. So we could be Zygo the Beast if we want. We could be worthy of royalty. There's a lot of cool like titles that you can unlock in the game. But let's see, I'm gonna hook myself up with a nice title. Let me go to 2D is all I need. Is, is, is that a good one? That doesn't make a lot of okay, sense. No, that's not good <laughs> all right, let, we'll skip that for now. Go easy on me. But there's, there's a lot of cool, like look at these cool backgrounds for the titles. Uh, I'm probably gonna show you guys my favorite one. Let's see. This Please one tell me this one that right says there. Chillaxin. <laughs> Master of Iron Fist, I will change my title. Not just that, we're gonna change my intro panel. And I'm a big fan of New Japan Pro Wrestling. You guys saw some of the items earlier, which obviously it confirms that they're in the game. I'll use the New Japan Pro Wrestling plate. So the stuff that's like actual HUD change? Yes. Is that is that a part of this customization as well? Yeah, so look at the oh, light bars. There you go. So we could pick from a number of life, ball, life bars that are available here. Uh, anything catches your eye here? Oh, I like that one with the wings. You that do? one, yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely like the yeah, Lars <laughs> Tiger one is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. yeah there's like all kinds or of Lars Lion that you're able to just unlock. Oh, the crane? Yeah, and you'll unlock more over time. Look, there's the Tekken Girls one from oh, the Tekken nice. Sushi booth. The Tekken. <laughs> there's another New Japan Pro Wrestling themed one. There's a uh, Okada themed one. So a lot of awesome, cool ones. I'm awesome. gonna change it to this this uh, Heihachi theme. Yeah, one. the rainbow Heihachi. Yeah, the prismatic one. It's pretty cool. And then we'll save that. But uh, well, just to this, this jam is awesome too. Oh yeah, and th that's the thing is the, the Tekken Seven soundtrack. Even though you have access to the jukebox mode, that it's it's like a internal battle. Like, do I want to listen to the hot new Tekken Seven stuff or the classic Tekken Three, Tekken Tag? Tekken well, you can do a, a shuffle and you can get it all. That's true. There was That's like, true. yeah, a roundabout where it's just shuffle the shuffle through every and single one. Of tracks, though. But um, we'll show some examples then, I guess, of customization. So when you get into the customization mode, you can pick the characters, but you also have 10 slots of custom costumes that you can make per character. So you see here, I made a few with King already, but we can pretty much do it with any other character. Um, let's pick Law. Let's pick Law. Okay, where is Law? Down under Josie there. There we go. So we've it. not made a custom Law yet. But just looking at the different customization items that he has, you have everything from the traditional stuff that you have on your head, you have different equipment, you have hairstyles, you have face equipment, which is like masks and stuff like that. You also have uh, makeup and hair accessories, which is kind of new. So these are glasses. There's a whole section just for glasses. I think some of the fans of the Elder Games might like that uh, little Fu Manchu uh, throwback. Yeah, so <laughs> you have the Tekken 4 uh, Fu Manchu for Law. You have. Oh, you need that face paint. Do you initially paint. see all the customizable options by default and you have to unlock them, or do you like unlock them they're, by going through They're modes? grayed out. You unlock The ones that are grayed out, they'll, they'll tell you the unlock conditions. So, like, gotcha. for example, here. If it's locked, you probably have to unlock it in treasure mode. So if you just wanted to see your options and try to go find it in treasure mode somewhere, you can't see it. Correct. But the thing is, with treasure mode, they're random. 
Ooh, so okay. you have to just keep grinding it out and playing that, and that, that's the reason. But you're getting, but play. you're also getting the fight money, so you can yeah. save up to buy well, the ones you already want. At least if yes. you are in treasure mode, you do get rewards for the character you are playing as. Correct, okay. but you also get some for characters. All the characters. Not, gotcha. So it's actually for all characters. Okay. So you guys see all this? You have equipment, of course. You have some of the goofy hit effects that are in the game. You have the comic effects. You have auras. Oh, and then you can even give your character a ten. And you know, it's the say it's been a, a long day. You've been <laughs> playing out on the beach. <laughs> But you can actually remove the equipment. Then you also have access to the character panels, which are really cool. From different artists, you have JB Style, Juni, and of course you have Shunya Yamashita. All the cool stuff. So that's pretty much the basis of the customization stuff. But um, aside from that, we showed off the gallery. Uh, you want to go in depth on anything else, really? I or think we should, we should just throw some? down some rounds. Okay. I think it's just time to throw down. Ready Max? to play a little bit oh, more? Are you okay. going to play? Yeah, I'll play one okay. or two. Let's uh, go to Versa Battle. Again, you guys see that little trophy? That means the tournament uh, settings are on. And by tournament settings, it automatically puts it to three out of five rounds. Oh, uh, okay. And uh, there's, it's kind of like event mode. If you're used to what the arcade is, you can't skip the intros and stuff like that. So it's actually really cool. Uh, is that me? Oh, that's okay. That should be you. I think I got to switch it to the other. Oh, yeah, you have to switch to the other profile. So just hold the PS button. Guest one? Guest one. All right, I'll let you try, Dalton. Okay. Man, that second four gen outfit yeah, brings, back I, so, brings back so much nostalgia. I worked at uh, Electronics Boutique before it was called EB Games <laughs> when Tekken 4 came out, and uh, there was the giant gin standee of him sitting there with Tekken 4, and I took that home, and I had it forever, and I had no idea where it went. Uh, I have one too at home. Is, is, is it, if it's in good condition, <laughs> man, I, I have an obsession with fighting game standees, oh, and I am, too. I am hurting myself for ever giving that away. I have the Tekken 3 one with it. of Jin who just... Powering up his oh, glove. Man. I have that. Show, send me a picture. <laughs> I've never even seen that. All right, looks like we're in the Duomo di Sirio. Oh, what's that? Oh, do you have more giveaway stuff? No, no, it's just for you know, talk, talk about some more items. Oh, you, when did you become a Jack player? I'm just did you watch to... some tournament matches and see which characters were winning? Yeah, I saw um, saw oh. Saint playing Jack. Oh! He's trying to be a world champion. Oh, Max is Max is putting. Oh, seed planter. Follow up. Goes for. Oh, that's it. Nice it's game. over. Yeah. So that's the cool thing I was telling you earlier. When you land the health sweep now with uh, Jin, you could actually go into screw and follow up with a combo, which he didn't have in the past games. He wasn't able to really bounce from the health sweep unless they hit at an awkward angle. Man, Jin even looks different. He looks skinnier like Tekken Four. He even has the same shoes. Nice. Four, four, three. Follow up. Again. Man. Uh, uh, uh. Into the wall. Big boot. That's boot. Uh. Oh, he would have had the wall throw there. Nice counter hit. Fall into the sit down. Okay. Has him in rage. You have access to the rage art now. Oh, is he gonna. Oh, oh. Thought he was gonna combo there. Seed planter. Oh, that should be free. Oh, it Please. down. That Okay. No. Yeah, his hits high, so there's different okay. properties to raise. Oh no! Round <laughs> three. <laughs> gonna let him chest bump like that. Nice. Max with the demon fall follow up into the now blockable tackle. Whoa! It's, it's blockable, blockable now. now? It's My free damage. It acts as a power crush. Gets the throw. I see you picking your, your hits here. Oh, counter hits out forward too. Oh no, attack and attack two combos. Uh -oh. oh no. It just becomes a force habit. You know, a lot of players still making the adjustment. They tend to go for the older combos that they're used to. The muscle memory still kicks in. Yep. Oh, both players in rage. Who's gonna do it? Oh, it's still a <laughs> Oh man. He clutched that one out, so. Dalton up two rounds to one here in this opening matchup. I think I'm gonna, I don't know, depending on who I fight, I might pick Eliza again next. Seed planter, follow up. Second. Oh, oh they, my you know the god. Moves. Down forward, 1 1. Oh, what? Got him with the kicks. Into the hell sweep. Goes for the top grab. Second hit. I don't think oh, he's ready. Man. Into the boot. All right, let good me get match, next. Uh, good you, match, sir. You, you want to use pad or stick? Do you have a preference? Um, I'll just stay with what I got. All right. Actually, but you want to play here. I, I could use both. That's fine. Switch. Okay. Here, we're going to switch. Right. I am so undecided. Like, I've been playing Tekken on pad for the past couple days now, and I'm like, 
I I really want to go to sick because of uh, this uppercut motion. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm liking so much better on the deck. Right, I'm gonna use, actually. You gonna use uh, Eliza? I could use Eliza. I think I might go Kuma. Oh, okay. You're trying to play serious. I know that's one of your main characters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Actually, okay. No, I just want to get for, the fish move off. For this for this match, then I will use King. Let's see if I can land a Rainmaker on you. Uh, let's pick the, the, the Snow Sage. I thought we want a Azure. Should we do Azure? No, let's oh, do the Snow right, Sage right, because right. Uh, we set the music on the playlist. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got a special uh, special club thumper drop in. Let's take it to the Arctic. There it is. There's just too many stages. <laughs> yeah. There's so many stages, so many, so much variety in the stages, too. You go to the snow, to a volcano, to a kinder gym. So snow <laughs> is an infinite stage, right? Yeah. Correct. So Where there's, there's uh, no walls. There's two pure infinite stages in, in the game, but then there's also some with stage transitions. So gotcha. Let's see how this works out. All right. Oh, this is this sweet? That so is this one so your much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a, a collaboration costume with New Japan Pro Wrestling as well. This is the Rainmaker Fun. costume. All right, come on, Dalton. I know you've been practicing. You Nam cops always playing dirty. Oh, okay. You know. The name of the move that that uh, that I watched of him constantly rolling around. <laughs> rolling death is that Death Cradle? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I've never played King, so I'm like, how long is this going to go on for? Oh, nice. Until you die. How oh. difficult is it to pull that thing off? It's not too hard once you know. Oh my. Yes! Once you have the muscles, yes. it's pretty just, <laughs> My favorite move right it's here. It's easy to pull up, but it's also easy to break. Oh, okay. Oh, that is So did Toko just not know how to break it? He, he pressed the wrong break. It's like a pure 50-50 oh, guess. Okay. I, I think I'm out, of the, I I'm, I'm out of the way. I'm out of the way. Overlay. Oh, no, you... How did I get that ground? I don't know, but it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still alive. Fight. Oh, I wasn't, wasn't ready for that. There's a bunch of vegetables in his back. You hear them all break right when you grab them. I keep forgetting Kuma has like a weird body type, so I have to do different combos sometimes. Nice, okay. nice, nice. Oh. That's hard to deal with. So essentially from a launcher, you're looking at wanting to get around like 30 to 40% on average. Like that's that's pretty good. Correct. Like I mean, once you know the combos and you kind of figure it out, it's, it's really helpful when you actually look at the move list mm -hmm. in the game. They actually show you five different sample combos. And actually, oh, you can't do it in this one. In practical, we'll be able to show it to you guys. That's where I was getting some of the inspiration for what Jin and Akuma could do. Yeah. Actually, we should show some of the practice mode stuff. I think a yeah, lot of the should, yeah. hardcore fans would be interested to see what practice mode that really brings to the table. I think it's a yeah, yeah. In this game, it's an excellent training. I also game. got another giveaway to do, so we should probably. Oh. Okay, I hope this lands because this looks so cool. Ah, oh, he got me. Make it rain. Is that money? That is money. <laughs> Pure money. Boom. And I'm gonna do the people's elbow again. Oh, okay. I don't Oh no, I'm dead. Am I dead? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Something's fishy. Boom. <laughs> it makes the sound of a metal bat because. <laughs> Just because. Round four. I wasn't ready for that. Fight. Oh, I missed it. When you do a rage art, does it have like infinite armor or does it only have one hit? It depends on the hit. Some of them activate a little bit later, but if you have enough life, it'll absorb as much as you can. In okay. theory. Because you're still taking the raw damage. Correct. Okay. But usually you don't have enough life. So if you don't have enough life, it's you a huge survive. risk. Yeah. Correct. Good night. What's that? Goodbye and good night. All right, cool. So let's uh, let's jump into the practice mode. Okay. Some some of that stuff. While that's going on, Oops. I got a few more things I want to talk about. Um, while we're setting that up, one thing I want to talk about is the uh, the pop the the pop toys that have come out. I know. I actually guys, uh, I have all of them now. I don't know if you guys have seen these, but these are um, these are out in the world, and there's some exclusive ones. So, for instance, the Devil Gin. This Devil Gin is only available at GameStop. Um, there's also a Armored King that's only available at it's, GameStop. The Armored King is only available in the Funko Knockout Box. Yeah. It's a like collaboration with uh, with the Street Fighter brand as well. So you get the Armored King and you get some Street Fighter stuff as well. Yeah. And really then, cool. but there's also, you know, we have Nina, there's Haihachi, there's Kazuya, there's the regular King. There's a lot, there's a lot of different varieties of the pop toys. So um, check your, check your retailers. Look, keep an eye out for those exclusives. Uh, there's a lot of great ones out there for all your, all the favorite characters. Another thing that, uh, that, that I want to talk about is the fig pen. 
Um, I know we talked about this on the last stream, but this is a GameStop pre-order exclusive. It's a Heihachi fig pen. Um, if yeah. you pre-order at GameStop, you get this pen. Yeah, you have to purchase. be a Power Up Rewards member. As a Power Up Rewards yes. member, you receive the, the the fig pen on launch day. So when you go in and pick up to game. pick up your game, yeah. you'll get the Heihachi fig pen, which is it's kind of got. Look at the back of it. That is actually a, a pin. It's like, thick. It will, yeah. it's a thick pin. Yeah, yeah. it's. You need to be putting that on robust. a leather jacket yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like the brim of your hat or yeah, something. Or somewhere yeah, somewhere yeah. of this hat maybe. But it's cool because there's uh, there's other characters that are coming out. But of course, check out the the fig, either the fig pin website or of course inquire within GameStop. Uh, okay, I'm in practice mode now. So just showing off some cool stuff so while you're in practice mode there's four main categories now there's action settings restart settings display settings and of course other settings you could really uh if you wanted like let's say you're a guy that likes to do combo videos and you want your combo video to look really stylish you want to get rid of the life bars and all that fancy and take stuff, away all the hud you could hide pretty much everything under the display settings and it makes it look so clean and i, I think i was showing you some videos uh with dalton as well you could really make this game look super clean oh yeah Just look at that Oh, and of course you pick the uh, Infinite Azure, your favorite stage. It is. It's one of the prettiest stages, it's so too. so pretty. Oh, that was unblockable. But aside from that, uh, for people that are training mode monsters, um, you have access to, of course, a record function. Of course, the tech team is going to take care of you. You'll be able to record some moves and sequences here. So let's say, let's do a Puma's focus attack. Or if you want to just, uh, let me let me get this. Where's the, oh, there it is, the home button. So you can start recording, so you can do jab into throw, or you can do jab into uppercut, and it'll keep it recorded in there, and then stop, and then you can play it back when you're in the matchup. So Akuma will do that, so you oh, know so that he's you gonna do jab to throw, and oh, you can wow. practice your those sequences, or like if say there's a specific sequence that gives you trouble, you'll figure out how to either avoid it or how to punish it. So he's going to go for it again. So pretty much I'll just have you come over to my house, program all the best combos in, and then I'll just try to try to Find play you over and over again. Step, yeah. And then I'll play you next time, and I'll know exactly how to do you, you should You should know how to <laughs> deal with it. Yeah, exactly. And you just really adapt your knowledge from there. But of course, a great tool. You could record up to five different sets of uh, commands and really mix it up. You could even randomize it. So if you want to have five really screwed up situations that you might get stuck in, you could you could record that. So I got a, I got a question. Yeah. I, it's related to training mode, yeah. but I haven't actually seen it in the game yet because I've been watching a lot of green Tekken and, and you ah. wouldn't normally see it a whole bunch in competitive players. Do characters still have 10 strings? They do. They do. Okay, so I have not seen much of them. Let's for go to a the move list here, and now we can actually show you guys the sample combo. So we were talking about it earlier, but let's go to that that 10 string that you asked about. So Eliza does have a 10 string. Okay, and she is obviously one of the newer characters, but you could just play it in the move list. It's called move list now, it's not called command list. But you could just play it, and you can actually learn it from there. <laughs> Aside from that, uh, I was mentioning the sample combos. These are what I was going to. I was going straight to the bottom, which is why I didn't see the ten. Can you have the, um, the combo as an overlay while you're while you're playing? To see if you're matching the inputs. No. So for the specific combos, because they're playing in, in sequence, they only show during this. But for for moves, you can do that. Okay, got it, got it. So that shows the, the first sample combo, but then you could go to a more advanced combo which uh, this one uh, requires a bit more dexterity with your fingers. And then you even have combos with a rage art and a, a combo with a rage drive. Yeah, both Sport oh, wow. and Jin, the ones I did see, they, they have a couple examples that end in, in rage arts. That's awesome. Yeah, so every character has a combo with the rage art that you can learn through the through the move list. And if the character has a rage drive, uh, every character has a rage drive except for Eliza and Akuma. They have a super meter, so they have super moves. So oh. that little tiny jump to bounce them up with the light on is yeah. just enough. And then there she caps a super right into the running one, which goes into screw, and then she can follow up with that dive kick combo. That's a fancy looking stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. But so she hasn't been playable in the arcade version. She is no, no. limited to the console. Con gotcha. Console exclusive. Cool. So, um, and I think we're almost about to wrap it up. But before we do that, I want to make sure we give away the second pair of Gunners. Um, so I'm going to roll for a winner here. Uh oh, good luck, everybody that's tuning in. Best of luck to everybody. I'm going to go to sleep real quick. All right. And the winner is. Uppermost 22. Uppermost 22. You just won a pair of gunners, gunner eyewear. So we'll uh, we'll send you a 
direct message and we'll get you your gunners, man. And um, just want to let you guys know the games, the games um, screen giveaway that we're doing, the unit, the portable unit, this is going to go till 10 p.m. tonight. Oh, wow. So wow, if you okay. follow that link from our social channels, um, uh, you will have an option to still enter until 10 p.m. and we'll pick the winners and we'll pull, we'll reveal the winners uh, on social media in the coming days. So, okay, cool. Awesome. Just there's, wanna... there's a lot of tech and stuff coming up, of course. Of Again, course. we mentioned earlier, join us for Combo Breaker. If you guys want more information on Combo Breaker, combobreaker.org, May 26th through 28th in, near the Chicago area. Uh, Max, our special guest today, let everyone know where we can hey, find you. I'm at Maximilian Dude on Twitch as well as pretty much Maximilian Dude on YouTube and Man, I am ready to put some time into this game because it's been it's been a while since I've really been into Tekken, and we still consistently play Tekken 5 and Tekken 3, and man, I like Akuma a lot. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to figuring out Lars and Jin, so yeah, thank you guys. It's looking really good. Awesome. Thanks so much, Max. Really appreciate you stopping by, oh, no problem. playing the game. Markman, as always, really appreciate you guys coming to the office. Uh, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We're going to have more more coverage coming up. You know, we're about one month away from launch, June 2nd, on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Um, so just, you know, get ready for, we're kind of in that, that home stretch for, for, for waiting here. Get so, ready for the next battle. Yeah, get ready for the next battle. Just one more month, guys, to wait. Um, and stay tuned to our, all, our, all our social channels to for all, all things tech. And, and soon, soon, you guys, soon you'll yeah. be in the battle. See you so. at Combo Breaker. See you at Wizard World Philadelphia. And uh, we'll see you for the next Tekken Talk as well. See you guys. Thanks so much.